The Association of Military Christian Fellowships holds a world conference every 10 years to bring together military Christian fellowship leaders and future leaders from all around the world. The 2014 event was called the AMCF Global Interaction 2014 and it was held in Cape Town, South Africa with over 550 participants from more than 100 countries registered. We planned this for almost four years. A lot of hard work and prayer was done for this. When we started off, we realized that we are going to need a strong support team. Looking around, trying to find out who we would be able to do that with, we said, but that's the next generation of military Christians. The effects have been astounding in that not only did we achieve the objective of them being a very effective support team for the global interaction, but the effect they're having in their workplace is really amazing. A lot of the warriors are in either leadership as junior rate leaders or they work in executive offices not because they chose but because they were called up. People in leadership noticed that there's something good, different, discipline, passion to do the right thing and they called them up to work in those environments. We were at all stages wanting to make sure that we not doing our will, but his will be done by being close to him in prayer. And there was a prayer network established called the Prayer Beacons throughout the world. We were praying for the global interaction to ensure that we are in God's will. And I believe that we can see the fruits of that now. The mission of the global interaction was to inspire and equip the participants to become effective disciples in their militaries and also through that then to go and establish other military Christian fellowships in their countries so that the word of God can be spread through Christ in those countries working through those military Christians in the various areas of the world. I'm more sure now after this conference that I do have a loving God and that he also cares for my fellow cadets and my friends at home. I do want to share the gospel with them also. The teaching's been fantastic. We've had some really godly men and women who've been able to teach into specific areas. The sermon, it was so straightforward. It touched my heart so deeply that that will change me. It has an impact that will equal for a very long time in my life. They managed to actually stir something in me. God promised that as I walked with Moses, so will I with you. The battle is not ours, the battle is the Lord's. One of the defining moments, I believe, at the Global Interaction is when Bishop Arambi got the Moses generation, those over 40, to pray for the Joshua generation, the under 40s, so that they can commission them to take over the leadership from them, but not the case of just handing over and disappearing, but that a mentorship relationship is built between current leaders and the future leaders. At my academy there are very few Christians. This has been a place for me to meet with God and experience His love for me. The young warriors were the hosts and led the small group discussion, led the prayer meetings of those small groups. And in some of those small groups, you had a young able seaman or corporal leading a small group with generals and admirals and other very senior people twice their age. And they did that very competently and confidently. I had to lead people that are older than me with the rank. For me, that meant something because I actually thought of the scripture that says, let not anyone undermine you because you are young. And I was young and I saw that as a warrior in Christ, you are able to do just about anything. Being at the GI as a warrior was totally life-changing. I wouldn't have gone as anything else. We dealt with people that were of higher rank than we are used to dealing with. There were a lot of uh, superiors in the conference, but they didn't intimidate us because we are young and, and because of our ranks. And we had to lead them as, as warriors. As we read in Timothy, that don't let people look down on you because of your youth. And them really being an example in the way they live out their faith in, in the military context, having high work ethic and being very disciplined sailors and soldiers. The fellowship together with people and seeing so many men and women of God doing so much for Him. Meeting people from all over the world, hearing their stories, and the fellowship with them, seeing what the Lord is doing through them, sharing with them our experiences, it was awesome. The cross-cultural fertilization that happens in that you're able to meet with people from 
literally across the globe. Just makes you appreciate having freedom of religion, where there's so many of the countries where they are severely persecuted. To know that you're not alone, there are people just like you all over the world having the same problems, the same uh, triumphs, and that uh, they can share experiences after that. Seeing all these people, white, black, all sorts of languages, it was just, you know, praising Jesus, praising God together was awesome. The worship sessions have been uh, wonderful. They have been like reminding me of how I think it could be in heaven one day. That's what I will take back. The music, the singing, worshipping African style. It's been an awesome privilege to meet Christians from all over the world with different ways of worshipping and yet to find that we're all one in Christ Jesus. We all have such a lot in common because we all love the Lord. Even before participants arrived in the Cape for this, we started already investing into the community. The conference bags that the participants got, for example, was made by cooperatives of ladies that put bread on the table for their families. And this is a way of uplifting the community in the Cape Town area. So through one military Christian living out his or her faith, they can affect hundreds or even thousands down the road by being good disciples as a warrior and as Christ's disciple, I need to treat everybody, whether in my environment, where it's a church or, or not church, even outside in my workplace, to treat everybody with respect and just love them because at the end of the day, we are all God's children. The vision of the Global Interaction is for nations to be spiritually transformed through the work of military Christians in the militaries. If they show their love for Christ in loving people and living out their faith at home, they in that way affect and impact the society and the way they live out their faith in that environment. So they can change societies and communities. Societies and communities make up nations. This whole thing of warrior training and global interaction is to take Christ everywhere, especially in the militaries, because the aim is to have and establish other military Christian fellowships and to have more disciples in the military. Many have been touched, people from all over the world, and I believe they are going to take away something from here to do something good in their countries for the kingdom. When they leave this place, I believe they should remember that they have been chosen by God and know that they are a privileged lot and they have been blessed and they can impart that blessing to others in their own nations.